Nearly a week after the Illinois primary, we're still waiting for all the ballots to be counted. And with the Democratic race for Cook County State's attorney too close to call, the number of ballots in the count is causing some controversy tonight. We have about 33,000 Democratic ballots that remain uh, to be voted that we have not received. We're going to be doing an upload today of about 7,000 mail ballots. With the Democratic race to become Cook County's next state's attorney still too close to call a major reporting error from the Board of Elections, which last Thursday said it had received only 7,000 mail-in ballots to be entered into the official tally. We'll need to clarify over the weekend that more than 10,000 additional ballots were being added to the count. This afternoon, an official explanation. What I initially reported out once uh, we were getting our reports back from Thursday moving forward was that we received only around 7,000 vote-by-mail ballots back from USPS uh, on election day. What I didn't do was find out that there was additional ballots that had arrived on Monday and late in Monday the 18th that had not yet been scanned and processed for vote counting at that point. On election night, O'Neill Burke led Harris by close to 10,000 votes. Tonight, that lead has been reduced to just over 1,900. It is not an issue of 10,000 ballots that were forgotten about or any ballots that were new or found or came from drop boxes, but it was a human error and the human that's in front of you. By law, the board has until April 9th to deliver the official vote total. Both O'Neill Burke and Harris's campaigns are reportedly watching the count very closely. If the final tally finds the two candidates within five percentage points apart, the second place finisher can ask for a recount. So the latest official tally has Eileen O'Neill Burke with 260,873 votes. Clayton Harris III right behind her with 258,968 votes. Terrence.